Hi, this is Patrick, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create products and create categories into which you can put those products. I'm starting here on the user site and on the products page. On the left I have categories. You can see that as I tap them I can see what I already have product-wise in each one. These categories are simply the folders into which you put these various products and they will be the headers that will be shown in the app itself. So now if I go into the app I would currently have two categories service and equipment. I'm going to create another one simply by clicking on this create button and giving it a name. Next I'm going to go ahead and create a product which is what you will use in the app to collect the information. So I come to the create product link and click on it. And I have some fields to fill out here. I'm going to call this Patrick. Give it a description. I can define this product in a couple of ways. I can have the user draw a line or define an area or drop in a shape. We'll start with shape. I can put in a price if I have a price that I want to put in, say $50 each, and I'm going to choose my visual. So depending on what I picked earlier, I either see my existing shapes or I define that. So I'm going to pick this guy. So now that's what the user will see in the app and what will drop on the screen to create one of these Patrick products. I could stop here, click create, or Additionally, I can add other attributes that I want to collect on site. So I'm going to click Add Attributes. I can give it a name, size, and I can choose that it's always going to be collected. So I could say here 50 feet, or this is something that I actually want to collect in the field. And the person will collect it in the field with a couple of different options. It could be a line of text, paragraph, drop down so let's just do drop down for size one foot two foot and three foot so it's totally up to you what you want to collect and how you want to collect it and what options are presented so I'm going to add that and I have this so I can continue to add those questions in of note one that's really nice to use is photo So you can use the camera built into the iPad itself to collect a photo of this item that you're either it's pre-existing on the site or something you want to put in, whatever. Having that photo is kind of nice. Go ahead and click Create. And now I have this. Next I'm going to create another product. This one is my last name, Caldwell. Me. And I want it to be a line. I want to collect linear distance. Choose my uh, unit. And I'm going to say it is 10 feet per foot. So in this case, I get to choose how I want that line to appear on the screen. So I'm going to say, I want it to be this color. I want it to be this thick. We like that with a dashed line. So when I do that, I can see that visual. Again, I could add attributes. I'm not going to do that on this one. I'll go ahead and click Create. And then one more product. Here's my middle name. Uh, do me. And this time I want to do area. Square feet. Price is $15 per square foot. Now, I'm going to draw an area on screen with this, and I can define how I want that to appear. I could use solid color or pick a pattern. I'll just pick color, uh, green, somewhat transparent, go. So let me go ahead and create this. So I've created three products. Now let's go look how those work in the app. Previously, I just created those products. Now I'm in the app, and I have my products pane open. As you can see, I don't see those yet. So once you create products, you will have to come along 
and tap on the refresh icon to get them. And here we go. Here's all my new ones. So just to go the full circle here, I'm going to go ahead and add these. Add my Caldwell line. I'm given some options. I'm just going to draw it as a continuous line. And there you go. Now I'll go over to Matthew and draw square footage. And last, add the shape base one. There. So now I can come up to the top, choose this option, and see that, sure enough, I've collected that information, and these products can be used then for other purposes.